On a daily basis, we are exposed to many different types of advertisements. The goal of these various pieces of advertisements is to persuade us to do something, whether it be buy a new car, change our behavior in some way, or even buy new facial creams. There is substantial evidence that shows advertising is an effective way to persuade someone, but there is more than what meets the eye when making an advertisement successful. This knowledge of how to persuade someone effectively can be beneficial for companies that are trying to appeal to a mass of consumers, such as car dealers. Persuasion is affected through many factors, such as the communicator trying to persuade, the quality of the argument, personal relevance, and source expertise. Studies have shown that trustworthiness of the communicator may be one of the strongest factors in persuading someone. Along with that, the argument quality must be strong to persuade someone to buy something such as a new car. Other strategies such as fear appeal have been used in doctor's offices to persuade someone to change their unhealthy lifestyle by showing images of things such as rotted lawn. In this study, Priester and Petty used a 2x2 two two experiment format in which there were two independent variables. A total of 65 undergraduate students were assigned to one of the four conditions, which were a highly trusted endorser with either a good or bad argument and a lowly trusted endorser with a good or bad argument. The students were given a booklet with advertisements reflecting these conditions and were told that they would review them. They were told to fill out a questionnaire regarding one of the advertisements afterwards. The questions consisted of how they felt about the product and the endorser. After the surveys were analyzed through averaging the responses and finding standard deviation, the experimenters found that there was a high correlation between the endorser trustworthiness and having a good attitude towards a product, as well as uh, having a great argument and having a good attitude towards a product. Hey, Anna, have you heard about this new cream that came out that um, a friend of Julio is selling? No. You want to check it out? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. This is Anna. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> We're here to find out about your uh, the cream you're selling. Can you tell us something about it? Um, it's cream for your face. It's for your face. Yeah. And um, what does it do? Um, <clears throat> clears up. Oh, is it is it FDA approved? No. Does it give you any rashes? No. Does it work? I don't know. Well, um, what do you think, Anna? How many of these have you sold? More than enough. I need to get a sample. Can I get a sample? No. Well, Anna, I don't know. This, this doesn't sound so, uh, so good if it's not FDA approved and he won't give me a sample. Look, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about this. Thanks, thanks for your help, okay? Thanks. Let me tell you something. Look, I want to show you something. I want to show you, I want to show you a picture. You won't believe this. <clears throat> this was me right here. See this picture? Whoa! This was me 10 years ago. I had problems with blemishes too. And I don't share this with everybody, but I'm gonna tell you something. You see my skin now? Look at this. You see any blemishes? Just as beautiful as a, a new baby skin. You see that? <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta order some of this cream. This, this is FDA approved, okay? Are you interested? Isn't that the stuff that he was selling? No, 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 no. His stuff doesn't seem real at all. I don't trust it. It wasn't FDA approved and he wouldn't give us a sample and I just don't put everything on my skin. Get online and, and order it, okay? Okay. All right, come on. When the quality of the argument, which was to sell facial cream in this case, is bad, you are not easily persuaded to buy the product. Along with that, if the person trying to persuade you is someone you don't know or trust, you tend not to believe them or fall victim to persuasion. You are persuaded by people who you trust and know with a stronger quality of argument because you have more evidence that is in your favor. The best way to persuade someone, especially when selling a product, is to use a strong argument and to use someone that is trustworthy.